What is up, good people of the internet? Today, I'm going to be talking about how to size your inverter for your refrigerator in an off-grid 12-volt battery setup. Alright, so, this is going to help you guys, um, hopefully avoid the mistakes that I made when I was kind of setting the system up. So I have a really simple, simple system. I got 400 watt uh, solar panels. I got 310 amp hour battery bank. It's all 12 volts. Um, and I have, let's see, my, my charge controller up here. I have another video that kind of talks more about that. Basically that feeds a couple different outlets. Um, and, I got like my uh, there's a a 12 volt plug in like the cigarette lighter thing and it has like the two USB cord um, plugs as well and then the inverter has some some USB plugs. Anyways, so when I first when I first uh, set this thing up, I so I, I bought this fridge and it's it says it's a 75 watt refrigerator and so I was like all right I'll just get like I'll double it and I'll get a 150 watt inverter and that should be more than enough because it's double, right? Wrong. Um, it didn't work at all. So I, yeah, I hooked, let's see, this little guy up. This one is the 150 watt inverter. I think it was like, I don't know, 25 bucks or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it didn't work at all. So, I was like, alright. Um, I told my girlfriend to go to Walmart. And she picked me up a 400 watt um, inverter. Which is right here. This Duracell 400 watt inverter. And that was like, I don't know, 30 bucks. And I hooked that up, and it kind of, kind of sort of worked. Um, so, like, I would plug it in and, you know, plug the fridge in, and it would, like, try to kick on and, like, overheat and then switch off, and then the fan would go on, and then, like, five minutes later, it would try to do it again. Same thing. Wouldn't work. And then five minutes later, do it again, and and then boom, it would kick on. So what I what I think what was happening is that the 400 watts just wasn't quite enough, but it was able to like bump up the pressure in the compressor um, a little bit each time that it tried and failed until finally it, it only needed like 400 watts to get the compressor started. I'm not a refrigerator um, technician, so could be wrong about that, but that's why. I, assumed was happening but I, so I actually used that 400 watt inverter for like a year um, which is really only like a about a month month or two of use uh, coming up here in like the summers but uh, eventually it just like it was was working even worse and I thought it was kind of like hard probably hard on the refrigerator to be like kicking on and off and then like not not having enough power and everything so I bought a another inverter, which is like I think fifty bucks on Amazon. I'll post all the Amazon links that I can find for these inverters um, in the description below. Uh, but yeah, so then I so I, so yeah, I ordered this seven hundred and fifty watt inverter for like fifty bucks, and it works like a dream. You can see it; it's working right here. You got. Uh, it's like 50, 50 watts running through right now. Um, and you would think, well, okay, it's just 50 watts. Why couldn't the 150 or the 400 handle it? But what happens is when, when um, the refrigerator cranks on, it for like one or two seconds, it uses like 600, 600 uh, watts. Like... I've sat here and I've just watched this this little screen right here, and then when it kicks on, it's like 580, and then it goes down to like 60. So 
it's just that initial cranking wattage. It's not like using up a lot of power because um, it's just for like a second, but it just needs that initial, uh, I don't know, cranking wattage or whatever to get started. So this is, uh, it's a 75 watt refrigerator and I, I looked around on the back of the fridge and on the compressor, it actually says that it's, that it's uh, 750 watts on the compressor, even though the refrigerator, like if you look on the specs, it says 75 watts. Um, the compressor is like 10 times uh, that. So usually like when it kicks on, it'll only say like 500 or like 550. Uh, so I think it, it's a little bit less than what the compressor is actually rated for. Um, but anyways, as a general rule of thumb, at least with this refrigerator and the trial and error that I've, that has gone along with it, I would say uh, to size your inverter for your refrigerator, take your refrigerator wattage, just like it's regular wattage, and just multiply that by 10 um, to get your inverter. That way it can overcome that initial starting, starting um, current and yeah you should be good uh the and you know it, it actually kind of worked out because i mean i i think i've i've only spent like less than a hundred dollars on it on inverters um and these other other inverters like the the 150 watt i'll use that to charge my laptop um or like my electric shaver or whatever you know just little appliances like that is good to charge and then that I don't know the 400 watt I don't really know what I'm gonna use that for but I'll probably figure something out it was just like 30 bucks or something like that anyways anyways hopefully this helps you guys and you can just buy the right size inverter on the very first time if this video helped you out hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this hit subscribe or you know Leave a comment below and tell me what you guys think. Thanks.